Hey everybody, I'm Andy Smith, your hostess with the mostess. I'm a 30 year comic book veteran, having worked for Marvel Comics, DC Comics, Image Comics, Cross Generation, Ominous Press, you name it, I've probably worked for them. And I do other things art wise outside of comics in the field of advertising. I've also written some books on drawing comics you might have seen, uh, drawing American manga superheroes, Drawing Dynamic Comics was my first book. And I also did the handy little How to Draw Superhero sketchbook where all you need is a pencil because you do all the work right inside the book. Enough about that. This is the Book Look series. The Book Look series is where I grab a book off my library. You can see the tons of books I have behind me. And I go through it page by page with you so you can see if it's a book that you might want to buy. I like to know what I want to buy before I buy it, and I feel this is a way to give you some insight into these books. So join me for today's book look. Thanks. Well, hello, everybody. This is Andy Smith, 31-year veteran of the comic book industry. That's right. I've worked for Marvel, DC, Image, blah, 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 advertising, art, lots of stuff. Now I'm doing my own thing. First man, a superhero for a new generation. You've seen him in his cast of characters in my Drawing Dynamic Comics book and Drawing uh, Manga American Superheroes. Now you can read about their adventures. There's a link in the description below this video where you can go buy these books and they will come to you signed. Look at that, volume one and two on your bookshelf. Nice square bound. 64 pages each. These are heavy. Oh, I got to put them down. All right, so check those out. Today's book look is Biz, The Intense Art of Simon Bisley. I mean, that sums it up. Intense. You look at Simon Bisley's art and it is intense. His Lobo stuff was the first stuff I saw of his. Uh, then after that, I discovered and I have the three volumes of the slain, uh, the Horn God graphic novel, which was all painted. And his painted work, as you can see here, this is Death Dealer, is phenomenal. He's got Frazetta influences going on here, mostly. And it is just intense. It just reeks of manliness. I mean, you can just feel the power in this art. Uh, I got this book back, I believe, when it came out in 1997 through Verotic, who Verotic did the Death Dealer series. Uh, it didn't last too long, but Simon did the first issue, then Liam Sharp did a couple, issues two and three, whose work is also intense, and then Arthur Sudan uh, finished it. But let's just look at this. You got an introduction by the writer Alan Grant. Oh, yeah, his Batman, Judge Dredd. That was fully painted. Holy crap. It is just awesome. Um, I like his black and white work as well as his painted stuff. Um, and I think I like his black and white maybe a little more because that's what I do mostly is black and white work. Uh, there is some bad language in this book, as I can see Ooh, right there. I haven't looked at this book in so long. I'm just kind of pulling these off my shelves to show to you guys. Look at this painting. Tell me that is not Frazetta inspired. Um, I don't know what type of reference, if any, the biz uses. I've only said hi to him at a convention. Uh, he's always, well, he was always at San Diego sitting at the heavy metal booth because him and Kevin Eastman are good pals and Kevin Eastman used to own heavy metal. Um, but I haven't seen him in a long time. Uh, just love the color he puts into these paintings and the flesh tones. Like I said, just very Frazetta. Glenn Fabry's paintings also have that feel. Love this. Uh, she has some big uh, boobages for sure. Uh, pretty big leg there too. She would uh, She would crush you. Just great fantasy stuff. His color choices are fantastic. I'm pretty sure this is oil paint, not acrylic. This is from 94.
just, whew, man, I, I can't get over his Lobo stuff. I actually just looked up. You can't see what I'm doing off camera, but I just looked up to my bookshelf to see if I have the Lobo trade paperbacks. I know I have one, but that's a compilation of a bunch of different artists in it. So I'm not sure. Just this, the way he did the blood here reminds me for Zeta. Everything about this stuff. I try to hold the page up, get the glare off of it for you. Not everything in this book is black and, or is in color. Look at that. Speaking of Death Dealer, I mean, Frazetta created the character and Bisley just was like, oh, Frazetta, you're the man. I got to try and do something like that with the Death Dealer. His stuff is very frenetic as well, just full of energy and life. I love the colors he uses, like I said. I've never seen one of these original paintings. I would love to see it to how, to see if I can tell how gooped on the paint is. Like, is it really like goopy and, and stuff? Uh, this character, I believe that's the Jaguar God. I believe, I'm not sure who this is. She was in another one of the paintings. Uh, that looks like the devil right there. I don't know if this book is still available, so I apologize for that. This is the cover painting of the Death Dealer. Here's the Jaguar God again, fighting a big snake. Trying to save the woman. And we don't even see the woman's head, but we know she's not decapitated. We know she has a head, but she's just cowering. Her arm's coming over here, so her head's in shadow. I love this because... You know, you focus, all the focus and the detail of the painting is right here. And in less and less detail around it to give you that peripheral vision uh, feel. You know, when you look at something in real life, what you're looking at is all detailed up. But everything in your peripheral vision is blurry. And this comes across just like that. That's why I love Joe Kubert's work so much. Because Joe gets that feeling across in uh, his black and white art. Another Jaguar God. Got to hope it's a Jaguar God, and I'm not just uh, blowing smoke, but I'm pretty sure that's who the character is. Comment below and let me know if I'm right or wrong. Oh, what's happening here? I don't know. But that is some evil dude coming to, uh, that almost looks like Vampirella from behind with the color of her, her, uh, her little swimsuit bikini type thing. I really don't, and you know, that's the other thing. I don't really know what Bisley's up to these days. This guy's like, I want to, I got a, I got a hat that has wings. I wear a hat with wings and I'm coming to save you. He turned this dude's head all the way around. I wonder what these paintings would sell for now. Maybe he's just retired because he made so much moolala. A uh, moo la la, moo la 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 la. I mean, his guys, his creatures, they're all massive. His ladies are pretty massive as well, but still, still very, uh, very pretty. Look at, oh, this is a favorite. I don't know who this dude is right here. I honestly have no idea who this dude is, but I just love the design. I'd love to see the original painting because it looks like, you know, he you can tell he paints dark to light and he goes more opaque with the lights. And it looks like he just took a brush, mix and paint and just <clears throat> splooged it on for these feathers in this dude's helmet. Knees, these saber tooths or whatever, they're almost silhouettes except for the faces and it just works. No idea who this lady is, but uh, I wouldn't want to mess with her. She kind of reminds me of a female Terminator. You know, it's fine to leave the page on this side blank, but maybe throw a caption with the title for these paintings. Next time, just saying. I also like how big these are. Maybe there's an index in the back. Uh, Biz doing Conan. You can see a little bit of Frazetta influence in the hair with the Conan here. Definitely a lot bigger than how Frazetta did them. I 
Maybe this is Conan as well, not sure. So nice. I'm taking this stuff in just like you guys are because I haven't looked at it in forever. Once again, don't know if this is a character he created or somebody that, you know, he just decided to paint. I have no idea. I'm assuming it was a cover with the dead space at the top for the logo. Futuristic Captain America. Another uh, very cool piece, a little Western motif. Mr. Monster. I love Mr. Monster. I love the design of this character. Um, I love the costume design of Mr. Monster. I never actually knew he was a Golden Age character that, uh, is it Michael T. Gilbert who did Mr. Monster pulled from the Golden Age? I guess it was public domain and did. But man, look at that dude. I mean, I love this. This to me is what comics are. A muscle dude and the suit is literally painted on. No wrinkles and garbage like that. Get the monster blow him. This monster chick here. These mon Hey, I'm going to draw a hot chick with uh, alligator crocodile type heads. There you go. This was for Wildstorm, of course. I don't remember this character's name from Jim Leeds Wildcats. But to be able to get a painting by Simon Bisley of your character. Uh, let me see. What would I call that? Oh, dream come true. I would call that a, uh, a dream come true. A first man by Bisley or Penumbra. Dream come true. Here's some beautiful black and white stuff. This is Death Dealer, of course. This was in that Verotic, uh Death Dealer number one that Simon did. I love the way he spots his black and his shadows on this. His rendering, his pen rendering. It looks like it's pen. Maybe a mixture of pen and brush. Very Sienkiewicz-y looking. Just intense. This is also a page from the Death Dealer book as well. I love this. This is drapery, and I just love the stylization of it. So very cool, this tiger back here. Uh, I think this is from Death Dealer as well. Yeah, I want to say this is also from Death Dealer. Even those, those cheetahs or whatever are just awesome they're just massive that guy's so screwed this is definitely from the death dealer book because i just looked at it yesterday um all the focus all the details up in here less detail here some detail here but as you get to the background i mean just look just squiggles and stuff just to indicate it because it's in your peripheral vision beautiful Not sure if this is from Death Dealer, but it's cool either way. Jaguar God. I'll have to look up Jaguar God, see if Bisley did any interiors, because there was a Jaguar God book, if I remember correctly. I think Verotic put out. I wonder if Biz did any of the interior work, but I just love this. It's so, so cool. I love all this pen work down here that he's got going on. One last painting and the book with the painting. That dude's copping a feel. What's up with that? Not cool, dude. Yeah, no index to explain what everyone is. It would have been nice for them to do one. That's okay. This has been your book look today. Uh, a look at the biz. Biz, the intense art of Simon Bisley. And you want some intense comics that are also fun? You'll chuckle at a fun, lighthearted story along the lines of Peter Parker's Spider-Man with the goodness, cosmicness of Captain Marvel and a little Shazam to thrown in for, uh, for good measure. 
get yourself first, man. This is what I'm doing. I didn't want to be one of those. Uh, I didn't want to grow old and be like, oh, I should have when I was younger done my own thing. So I'm doing my own thing now while I still can. And you can help me by supporting this book and backing it now or buying it now. It is in demand on Indiegogo. Go there, link in the description below. Get yourself a set or number two if you already have number one. I will ship it out rather quickly because all the fulfillment is done on the campaign. Thank you guys again. Remember to hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, likes are wonderful, subscriptions are better, and it's free. So subscribe to the channel. Just go boom, subscribe. You'll know when I go live. You'll know when these book looks pop. I've got tons of books on my shelf to go through still. And uh, enjoy. Thank you guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye, everybody. Bet First Man 2 now, live on Indiegogo.